Business editor Richard Southern joins us now with a look at the day's business headlines. Richard, I was a bit upset because just before the show, I saw a Christmas commercial. And uh, <laughs> I just feel like it's way too early to be thinking about Christmas. But apparently, according, according to Canada Post, it's not. Canada Post actually says, we want you to please think about it. So they came out with this, like, uh, pleading message today. Canada Post, Janela said, we want you to do your shopping as, earlier, as early as you can, please, if you're shopping online like many people are. That's because the Postal Service is expecting record amounts of volumes this Christmas because, you know, you know, not as many people are going to want to go out to go shopping. And so they're worried about everyone getting their parcels in time. So they're mm. saying, hey, please, if you can, do it as early as you can. Not a great message for a procrastinator like myself, but we'll try, Janelle. The Canada Post also says it's going to start delivering on weekends in many areas. Uh, it'll open more pickup locations. It's going to extend hours of its post offices, and it's hired 4,000 people. So they're doing what they can, but they're saying, hey, get on your act a little bit earlier this year if you can, Janella. All right, I'll allow it. This year only, but next year, Christmas <laughs> after Remembrance Day. That's the rule. <laughs> it's a little, you know, October 21st, a little bit early for a Christmas commercial. I'll give you that. Yeah, come on. Let us uh, enjoy fall, Halloween. We still got Remembrance Day, and then uh, we can talk about Christmas. It just makes me think that up, winter's coming. Unless there's coming up in the next break, in which case they're a very fine uh, advertiser, and we appreciate them very much. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was on our on our network, so yeah, I probably shouldn't yes. say that. Okay, we love uh, your next uh, double double could look a little different. Tim Hortons is embracing uh, something that people have actually been asking for for a while. I think. Sure, but uh, they're outlawing uh, a method many people use that uh, aims to avoid burnt fingers. Tim Horton says you'll no longer be able to order a double cup for your hot beverage. Mm. Yeah, so instead, you're just going to get your one cup, and you can request the cardboard sleeve that they have. Uh, Tim Horton says this should cut down on 200 million cups being thrown into a landfill, and these cups are notoriously difficult to recycle. This new policy of no double cups will kick in at Timmy's on November 4th, Janella. Yeah, it is quite wasteful, but I guess some people feel like the sleeves just aren't good enough. It's true. Uh, I don't drink coffee that much, so, or I don't drink coffee at all. I don't go to Tim Hortons that much, so I'm uh, not <laughs> as familiar with uh, the sleeve, uh, how well, how well it uh, insulates rather. <laughs> okay. You hold the top and bottom at the same time. It's that Tim Horton shuffle. Many people know how to do it. So we'll be fine. We'll okay. Be fine. Uh, Story, you've been following closely in recent, recent weeks. The premier delivering another warning to insurance companies about alleged price, price gouging. You got to wonder if the Ford government is about now to crack down on insurance companies, Janela. Many bars and restaurants say their insurance premiums have been hiked through the roof under the guise of COVID-19. A premier Ford today, though, appeared to give a warning to the insurance companies, although the head of a local restaurant group says he wants to see action now. Insurance rates are, are uh, going up like I, I've never seen, and that, that's a, a warning shot for the insurance companies. You guys got to rein it in because I'm getting too many stories of how you guys are gouging these businesses. I think it's par for the course for uh, this government that tongue lashings come first and then hopefully legislation. Um, our position would be that there's just no time to waste, to wait for the industry to all of a sudden decide to become a good actor and to act in good faith. They clearly have proven they can't do that. Chadella, it's a story we're going to continue to follow. You and I are back at 640. we got some interesting stories, including one about space, another about the lottery, and a third about Charlie Brown. You're not going to want to miss it at 640. Lots to talk about. We'll see you next hour. Thanks.